In this video, we are going to be going over an introduction and history of geotechnical engineering. So to get started, let's begin by discussing what the definition of soil is. So what is soil, what we commonly call soil? Well, this is the uncemented aggregate of mineral grains See if I can spell mineral correctly. There we go. And decayed organic matter with liquid and gas in the void spaces between solid particles, okay? So again, this is what we call soil, and, and it is the proper term um, of what we often call dirt. So you don't want to call this material dirt. Dirt has kind of a negative connotation to it. Soil um, has mineral grains and in general soil can support some type of life, uh, typically plant life, whereas dirt has more of a slang negative connotation. So we're going to call this soil and not dirt moving forward. Let's get to our next definition. How about what is the definition of soil mechanics? Soil mechanics. Well, this is the branch of science dealing with the physical properties of soil and its behavior under different forces. And then that brings us to our next definition, geotechnical engineering. Geotechnical engineering. So what is geotechnical engineering? Well, this is the branch of civil engineering that involves natural materials found close to the Earth's surface. So it's really an application of soil and rock mechanics. So let's write that down. This is an application of soil and rock mechanics. To do what? To design foundations retaining structures and earth structures like dams and levees. So in general, we have this uh, broad umbrella called geotechnical engineering. And beneath 
that umbrella known as geotechnical engineering, we have soil mechanics, rock mechanics, foundation design, seepage, and several other components. So geotechnical engineering is, is a broad branch of civil engineering. Now, of course, this course that we're enrolled in is uh, CE322, and it is called soil mechanics. So in this course, we are going to be focusing on this particular component of geotechnical engineering. Um, but again, geotechnical engineering is much more broad than only soil mechanics. Now, um, if you look at the his history of geotechnical engineering, geotechnical engineering is often considered as much of an art as it is a science. So let's write that down. Geotechnical engineering is considered an art and a science. And the reason why is because geotechnical engineering for centuries was based primarily on observation and then imagination based on observation. So historically, these uh, scientists and other observers, they would watch and observe soil behavior under different scenarios. And then they would imagine how the soil is behaving on a small scale, on a, even a microscopic scale, and then come to conclusions based on those observation, observations and their imaginations that were hinged on the observation. So let's write this down. Let's say... Um, for centuries, for centuries, it was based only on observations and past experience of soil behavior. Now, it wasn't until the early 18th century that soil behavior was studied in a more scientific manner. So what we typically do is we categorize the history of geotechnical engineering into five main time periods, okay? So we're going to say uh, here, we're going to change colors. We're going to say five geotechnical time periods. Okay, so first we have what's called the pre-classical period. And this is based, uh, based on about 1700 up to about 1776. After that, we have what's called the classical period. And in this period, this is defined as 1776 up to about 1856. After, oh, sorry, classical period phase one. Add that phase one. And again, that was based on 1776 up to about 1856. Then we have the classical, I'm spelling everything wrong, aren't I? Classical, classical period, phase Two. And here this is based on 1856 up to about 1910. After that, we have what's called modern soil mechanics. 
modern period in soil mechanics. Now this is defined from about 1910 until about 1927. And then after um, 1927, we kind of categorize this, when we change colors here, we call this geotechnical engineering after 1927, okay? So um, this is just the listing of the five geotechnical time periods. In a later discussion and in a later assignment, we're going to dig in a little deeper, no pun intended, but we're going to dig in a little deeper into these five time periods and discuss more of their uh, details and what was developed within each of these periods. So for now, this is going to conclude this video.